As I talked about the civilizations of South America, I kept wondering what was going on in North America at the time. As I found out, the Aztecs came from North America and built the city of Tenochtitlan. So there were other peoples in North America at that time, yes. There were, but we cannot talk about civilization. But the people who inhabited North America are worth talking about. So today I will tell you some interesting facts about the Apache. Apache is the name of a group of tribes. Apache means fighting man. If translated from one of the Indian languages, the Apache themselves called themselves and which means people. The word Apache itself refers to six peoples who spoke Apache languages. The Apache peoples included the Western Apache, the Karikahua, the Mescalero, the Hikarilla, the Lipan, and the Kiowa Apache. Fierce warriors, strong strategists. From their first encounter with the conquistadors, the Apaches were branded as a wild, unruly people. They quickly adopted the skills of their enemy, for example. They instantly learned to ride as soon as they saw how easy and comfortable it was. With the advent of firearms, they also began to use them to expand their territories to hunt and to pillage. From childhood they were taught stealth. Adult Apache warriors were trained to ride, to use edged weapons and firearms and to sneak behind enemy lines for a surprise attack. They preferred to slit their enemy's throat before he even realized he was dead. After that, they scalped them. If the Apaches chose your camp for such an attack, you probably wouldn't have a chance of surviving because of their small numbers. The tactics of open fair combat were impossible. They were well aware of this so they ambushed them, which allowed them to resist the Spanish and then the English colonizers for quite a long time. But eventually their fervor was tempered. Scalping is not a fiction of cinema. Evidence of scalping by Apaches and other Native American peoples abounds. During the Seven Years' War between the British and the French. The Apaches fought on the side of the French, and one of the French officers preserved memories. He wrote that as soon as a soldier dropped dead on the ground, an Indian would run up, rest his knees on his shoulders, grab his hair with one hand, and cut the scalp off the fallen soldier. The Indian warrior would then stand up and let out a cry. They called the cry of death. The Apache did not give peace not only to the colonizers, but also to neighboring tribes. The Apache tribes were also in conflict with each other. Among them stood out as particularly distinguished cutthroats, whom even other Apaches considered ferocious. But within their communities, they valued friendship, honesty, and family dot, this is the kind of interesting people who still inhabit North America today.